Shall What now? Who's so Look at this place. I smell an adventure, Boca. Great. Hold it right there. The treasure in this cave belongs to me. Hey, you're more than welcome to it for all I care. I'm here for the thrills, and that's about it. I've got it. You can have the treasure, but let's team up. It'll be way more fun with the two of us. I can keep it all? Woohoo! You're the best. Okay, let's get this show on the road. My name's Riku. And you're... Oh, I'm Bartz. This is Boko. The pleasure's ours. Wow! This place rules! Aren't you just, like, super excited? Yeah. I bet the treasures in here are gonna blow our minds. Treasure, wedgie, treasure, wedgie, la 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 la! What's that? What insolent fools dare trespass upon Ifrit's hallowed domain? You shall rue this intrusion for the remainder of your soon-to-be-shortened lives. Whoa, intense! What a slick-looking mirage! Yeah, he looks really strong. He's all, like, burn and stuff! <sighs> That's strange. Shouldn't they be cowering in fear? I said I am a freak! Leave this place now, or I will roast the flesh off your bones! Bart, Sparks! Don't you realize what this means? A guardian! Now we know the cave is packed with loads of awesome treasure! I was about to say, you sure know your rules of adventure. Strong foes always position themselves in front of the important loot. These pipsqueaks, are they enjoying themselves? You fools! Turn back now. I will not warn you again! You all stay out of this! Ifrit, oh my gosh. Did you just... I don't believe it. You saved our lives? Huh? No, I... If we just saved us from that mirage. Come on, Bart. We can't let him do all the work. Yeah. It's our turn to save him. What? But I... Uh, I wasn't trying to help you. I was just trying to... Whoa. Who knew that Efreet was such a nice guy? I guess that none of them would get it. Don't lump Riku and Bart's in with Lon. He's on a different level. You make a good the point. Huh? What are you guys talking about? Your cave will be safe now! Thanks, Ifrit! 
You're the best kind of friend we could ask for. Look, you really have the wrong idea. I can't go stealing from such a stand-up guy. I promise to leave your treasure alone. Okay? You keep it. I agree. Not after he rescued us, because that would just be bad form. Uh, it is true. Your... Uh, your burning passion has moved me. I could not allow your fires to be snuffed out. And just so you both know, there was never any treasure here to begin with. What? So it's a bust? Oh man, that's no fun. Hey, chin up, Riku. Next time, huh? There are other caves. You're right. Hopefully, they've got some fierce mirages, protecting some awesome treasures, cause nothing else will cut it. Bingo. It's too bad if Freet wasn't a vicious guardian. Those always show up before the loot. You know how this stuff works. Yeah, and they got a taunt. Something like, I will knock you all down, or whatever, before they run at you like a maniac. But I'm in this for the long haul. Somewhere out there, awesome treasure is waiting just for me! You said it, Riku! That's the spirit! Treasure, wagey, treasure, wagey, la 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 la! No one's ever handled a fight like that before. Who are those two? from the Chocobo sounds pretty far-fetched if you ask me. Yes, I know that's what you told me, but we've scoured the area and I don't... Huh? Boko, you sure that black Chocobo's part of it? What? Those Chocobos have been worked to the bone. You're right about one thing. We have got to set them free. What? Hey, Master! Did you hear that? That young man is going to save the Chocobos. Come on! Hold on a minute. That Chocobo is Hyperion. What is he doing here in Grimoire? Hey, Beaky! What do you want with all these Chocobos? <coughs> this black Chocobo is Nate. Seraphie once told me that there was a Chocobo of that name and color that the maid a name for himself out of place for the red saucer. Wow. I love amusement parks! Wait, how did you know it's an amusement park? I... good question. Boko, but I don't get it. What was that Chocobo's problem? Okay, guys, you're free to go. Oh, who are you? Chocobo Kalima! <gasps> oh, I'm uh, just a regular old passerby. Pain as they come. <laughs> I have to say, you are really something. It takes one tough ombre to handle Hyperion. And I suppose Hyperion must be that black Chocobo from before? I tell you, that thing was more behemoth than Chocobo. And it's not often that Boko gets openly hostile toward anything. Oh, and by Boko, I mean this fella. I'm Bartz, and you are? My name is Chocolate. I can see Boko is very smart. That, and he seems to have the same keen senses as my master. Master? Hmm. See, Bartz. 
If you're planning a long journey, why don't you visit my shop before you go? I carry just the kind of items an enterprising adventurer needs. And I want to ask you more about those chocobos, too. Wow. You should have said that you run your own shop. Sure, we'll take you up on the offer. Right, Boko? Oh, perfect. Right this way. Chocoboko Ching! So, I meant to ask, why are you able to understand what Boko says? <laughs> Me and Boko just have a special connection. I Need something? What now? Who's so... What now? See you soon? Hey, hold up. I know. An anchor. The Federation must have control this place. Let's be careful. I have absolutely zero use for this. Well, you never were too keen on the printed word. I doubt anyone's gonna be burning through any paperbacks in this light. Hmm. The town is awfully dark. I mean, I know it's the land of naught but night, but it's still too early for the town to be sleeping, right? Yeah. There should be more people around if you ask the me. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Hey, are you okay? <laughs> huh? What's the matter? Huh? What? What? Mm-hmm. 
Come on. Can you keep up? Yes. Yeah. Yes, the sir. Oh, mirages we can handle. Yeah, no sweat. Your keepers? Right. The giants from the hills. Ta-da! That's us! Point us at mirages and watch the magic! <laughs> if that's the case, then come with me. So, who are they? Celeste, these kids are the giants from the hills. You don't mean from the prophecy. Um, you think you could fill us in on what's been going on here? Sure. Where to begin? So that anchor appeared out of nowhere than the Mirages? Yeah. The League of S sent me here. I was supposed to just be investigating the Anchor. But by the time he arrived, the vampires were already running amok. I'm told that it was utter chaos. Um, you didn't see it? I'm a hired sword, and my job in Tometown is to guard this place, the Library of the Ancients. So rarely do I find myself stepping outside. And it's always quiet here. Nothing seemed amiss, at least not until the town had already been overtaken. Hey, Celeste, where's... Oh, he was over there read. Hmm. How strange. Sid? Are you here? Sid? If you don't answer me, I am going to burn all of these books. Wait, wait! Those ghastly threats are so unbecoming. Huh? Ah, a talking weird thing! Then what if it's a mirage? I often wonder the same thing. How incredibly rude. I am just as human as you. Just because I sometimes have a habit of... Pussy! Ah! Pussy! Ah! Pussy! 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 Ah! Yes, he does have a habit of going haywire. And it's my job to calm him down. What? Calm him down? If anything, he looks more broken down than... I'm back! <laughs> yes, well, it's far harder to break than you'd think. Trust me. I'll thank you not to refer yes, to me as Lord. an... May we continue with our conversation now? Hmm? Oh, yes. Where were we? Oh, you're like a book freak. What did you do? Make a body that doesn't sleep just so you could keep reading forever? Oh, no, no, please, you have it very wrong. I prefer the term bibliophile, thank you very much. That's the part that's wrong? As I understand it, someone just happened to leave that body he's in lying around, and somehow his soul got embedded in it. His soul's in bed? Wow. <laughs> I guess in a way, you are human deep the down. Maybe his soul needs to I think you are human in every conceivable way. <laughs> no, you really, really aren't. <laughs> and what about you then? You say you're the giants from the hills? Now that right there is the real stretch. I mean, what a hoot. Uh, what a what? 
Oh! <laughs> Tom is not an owl. I mean, it is an easy mistake, but wouldn't you assume she's a skunk or something first? You, you, you! How dare you call me the stinky again? That is the last the straw! I am the fragrant! Roses line up just to get the one whip of me! What really the stinks is your whole stupid existence! You don't have to be ashamed of people thinking you're skunky. Skunks are cool, okay? Time out. Wildlife coolness aside, could you not derail every conversation just because you don't know how to vocabulary? But rain? Vocabulary's not a verb. It is if I say so. I'll vocab any way I want to. So can it before I vocab you in the Larry. Uh, uh, I see now you're comedians. Bravo. Enough. We have more important things to discuss. Okay, let's get right down to it. Those people back there with the fangs? What is the deal with them? Wow, right down to business. Vampires. They used to be people like us. Until a vampire bite turned them. Huh? Now wait. Don't tell me that people can turn into mirages. And, and they can't go back to the way they were? Oh, well, while we're going back, when I was younger and even handsomer, I... <gasps> I mean, uh... Oh, yes, I remember clearly now. According to several books I have read, those who have become vampires can be cured, provided the vampire that sucked their blood is vanquished before it's too late. So then, all we have to do is move fast and take out the vampires that did the biting? That's the basic idea. But of course, those vampires used to be just as human as their victims. So if we're not careful about it, wouldn't we end up sacrificing as many lives as we managed to save in the end? Although, we could always pick off the illiterate vampires first. You're not really living anyway if you've never known the comfort of a good book. Uh, no, I don't think that makes you eligible for a slang. But, point taken, we can't save everyone. Then, dude, what are we supposed to do? What if we defeated the first vampire? The one who started the whole thing? The first? That's it. If you trace the epidemic back, there has to be a first. Yes. Let's call that one the Prime. If we defeat the Prime, then the rest... Hey, yeah! It should cause a ripple effect and fix everyone. We would be vanquishing the Bitey's Biter's Biter. What do you think? Will it work, Sid? Well, it hasn't been particularly long since the commotion started, so... Yes, I believe that it could. Excellent. What a plan! Did you follow that, Tama? Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, I was just checking. All right. So where can we find the Prime? Let's see. Cloud, when you fight the vampires off, have you noticed any patterns to where they seem to go? Hmm. I never gave it much thought, but now that you mention it, they always seem to retreat to the north. Ah, well, that points to one place. That's right. The graveyard with all the abandoned Mirage trains. That's their lair. Then let's not waste any more time. We should go. Wait, Cloud. Who's going to help the townspeople? I have to stay here. You wouldn't want me to go bleak and make a big old mess. Which is exactly the reason why I have to stay here. So, he's a big pain in the royal the butt and certifiably useless! Okay, putting aside how completely not funny that is, we can go to the graveyard for you, right? Huh? Uh, yeah. Vampire schmampire, you just go ahead and point us at any old mirage. And we'll have to do the rest! Hmm. All right then. I guess. Let's see what the Fable Giants can do. I'll take you to the graveyard. Just say... I'll take you to the graveyard. Just say the word. I'll be around. 